Stay tuned to the end for more pictures of Mount Princeton Hot Springs climbing and repelling. Devin Johnny here with the Carnivore Caveman Keto Couple. Welcome back. Doing a little repelling today and then we're going to go to the hot springs so stay tuned. Video today is going to be about getting outside in vitamin D. It is so important you guys. I know I'm pretty much covered up here because we're in Colorado and it's October and it's getting cooler. A lot of people think they can just get their face in the sun you know 15 20 minutes a day that doesn't cut it you have to go full body sunshine join us at the hot springs here we are <laughs> all bundled up repelling and now we're here in our local hot spring um, we're in Colorado getting to be fall here but the hot springs probably 100 degrees so it is awesome yeah. Mount Princeton hot springs check it out if you come out to Colorado, you definitely have to check it out here. It's right outside of Buena Vista. So vitamin D, is it important? Oh my gosh, it is so important. And I could go on and on for two hours about vitamin D, but I'm going to save a lot of that for the experts. But I'm going to tell you guys, the amount of people that I see that get in the sun, that cover up or lather on the sunscreen, we have got to get in the sun more. And I'm not saying that you need to stay out for two, three, four hours, but get out in the sun for at least 20 minutes. 20 minutes. And it can't just be your face. You have to be, I don't want to say naked, but you have to be in some kind of suit. You have to have about 90% of your body exposed to the sun. Um, we have to have cholesterol in our diet to have the vitamin D do what it's supposed to do. So if you're taking statin drugs or you know you think that cholesterol is bad, you're probably very deficient in vitamin D. You should go get your levels checked because it's hard to just guess your vitamin D levels. I would go pay the, pay the amount of money, some insurances cover it. You go get your vitamin D levels checked. I think 90% of the population, vitamin D deficient, We're not out in the sun like we used to be. We have indoor nine to five jobs. So even if you live in a sunny, environment like Florida a lot of times people can't get out in the sun hey and it just feels good I think it's not only good for your body it's good for your mental your eyes. state well, it you feels know. good because your body needs it we're lacking it you guys um and I'm not promoting getting burnt you know you fair people that have red hair and have very light skin you have to be careful less time yeah and and the whole sunblock thing they're finding that the chemicals that we're putting on in sunblock are bad is bad if not worse Worse than any any rays, da damaging rays. So but if you have fair skin, get yourself out for about 20 minutes. Then you can cover up. Um, I would recommend covering up with clothing if you can. Um, and that whole myth of the worst rays are between noon and two. Those are actually the least damaging rays. And I'm going to put rays. well, they're the best rays for you. Yeah. And I'm going to put a video from Dr. Nick um, that he kind of explains the different times to be out in the sun and which yep. is better, Great which video. is more harmful, yeah. Thanks, Dr. Nick. So and anyways. Well, how about your statistic about the the, the cases of cancer? Oh, Where, yeah. I, I always love this one. Well, all kinds of cancer, breast cancer, testicular cancer. Skin cancer. But so. the people that end up being diagnosed with these cancers, they check vitamin D levels, and those are the ones that have the least amount of vitamin D. And also, Florida, believe it or not, has the least amount of skin cancer in the country, guess who has the most? I think it's either North Dakota or Minnesota. But Google it, check your check yeah. your numbers, it's true. So get, get out, out in the sun, sun enjoy right. it. And in the winter time, what about winter time? Well, in the winter time, you know, I start supplementing with a good um, vitamin D3 and K2. You always want K2 in with that D. And again, do your research on that. I'm not gonna, I could spend 20 minutes just talking about that, but it's really important for the K vitamin takes the calcium from your arteries and moves it to your teeth and your bones where it's needed. So K2 is important along with the D. Um, in the winter, you may have to research a tanning bed once a week. I was anti-tanning bed because I thought, oh my gosh, skin cancer, right? I haven't been in a tanning bed since I was 18 and I'm 48, so 30 years. But watching Dr. Boz, she was able to get her dad's vitamin D levels to where they needed by only having him go in a tanning bed once a week for 10 minutes. She told him naked, but I would always wear my bikini. I 
Right. Naked right. and tanning beds don't. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, um, so, research that as well. Yeah. Tanning beds are not necessarily awful if they're not abused and if they're done properly. And again, you need to check those vitamin D levels. Yeah. So the moral to the story, get outside, expose that skin, take that shirt off, take some clothes off. Eat and, some cholesterol for God's sakes. Uh, yeah. Eat some fat for sure. If you like the video, you know what to do. Subscribe if you haven't yet already. Click that bell notification. Just remember, keep eating meat. Because meat heals and also get out in the sun because that sun heals. All right, here's Deb getting some hot water. That is Chalk Creek right there. And we've got these natural pools along the river. And when you're ready, you do an ice cold plunge. And then you've got the old Mount Princeton Hot Spring pools right there. The new spa pools are up there. We'll get a couple pictures. All right, guys, I am on the side of the cliff filming Deb as she rappelled down. I'm feeling a little bit like Jimmy Chen. If you don't know who Jimmy Chen is, watch the movie Free Solo. He's the guy that filmed most of it, and he's just an extraordinary outdoor adventure photographer. So I'm on rappel myself, and then I've got my rappel device right there, and I've got an auto block, which is a brake, basically, and then what is called a catastrophe knot. If my auto block were to fail, I've got this big knot here to catch me. So I'm gonna undo my catastrophe knot and then head down myself. And we're gonna just keep repelling time after time after time. I'm gonna show Deb some different scenarios and uh, yeah, she's gonna be ready for that multi pitch climb soon. Okay, so I've got a fixed rope up top on an anchor. So I'm gonna just demonstrate how I use the Grigri to climb solo. If I was by myself, I could still climb and be very safe. And not like Alex Honnold solo, <laughs> this is safe solo. <laughs> this is rope solo. So as I climb, I'm gonna pull rope through my Grigri. If I were to fall, the Grigri locks and catches me. But once I get a few feet off the ground, I'll put knots in every few feet just to be a backup for the Grigri. Okay, I'm climbing. I'm on. So, I'm high enough right here that if the rope stretched, if I tie a knot, I won't hit the ground, which is always a good thing. first catastrophe knot. So if I fall, the Grigri will catch me. If the Grigri doesn't, this knot is going to catch me. 